Good morning, everybody. Good morning. We're so glad you're back and you're starting your week off with us. I know a couple of us are yawning because we were watching the Bills win their second preseason game last night because we had a rebroadcast on Channel 7. We hope you enjoyed it. We'd love to be able to do that for you. And we hope that you had the rest of a good weekend, too. You're able to stay cool. We have a warm day coming up today, so we're going to just sit back and relax, and we've got a full hour to keep you entertained. We're going to start this week off with a very interesting topic for Dr. Sam Shatkin, Jr. from the Aesthetic Associates Center. Apparently, I don't know if you've heard of this, but you know what? There's some kind of either fake Botox or watered-down Botox popping up out there with people who are n not to keep you entertained. But you know what? There's some kind of either fake Botox or watered-down Botox popping up out there with people who are n not board-certified plastic surgeons doing the injecting, okay? That's a big no-no. You need a board-certified plastic surgeon uh, so you know you're getting the right compound and they are, they are in the right hands if it's going to go into your face. Now, we've got Dr. Shatkin who is here today, and we also have Kat Pollock who's now started in his office as a skin care uh, expert, so it's nice to have you here. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Good morning. morning. Nice good to have you here. Um, Botox can be easily applied. We're going to show that. But it's got to be the right material in the right hands. Well, first off, you know, you've heard me talk about the benefits of board certification in the past. But uh, the one thing is that, you know, you might get a diluted down Botox, and some doctors have been caught doing that and buying Botox not from the main company, which is Allergan, which is the, the FDA approved Botox, but from other companies, sort of black market kind of thing. And that's not good either. Uh, but the point is that when you get your Botox, make sure it's the dosing that the doctor intends to use and that it's not diluted down and of course in our office we use the Allergan product and uh, uh, we've been doing that for many many years now and uh, just like to show people how easy it is mm -hmm. to do. Because in the right hands and in the right dosage it's a very good product. Well absolutely, you know people always ask me um, is it safe mm -hmm. okay and uh, there's certain risks with anything uh, bruising you can get a little swelling around the area of the injection and there's some minor side effects but if Botox was unsafe there'd be a lot of ill people in California and Los Angeles specifically because you know, it's very popular out there. It's popular in Western New York. Across the country, it's one of the most popular um, injectables that has been used by plastic surgeons. So. All right, so you're going to give us a demonstration. And by the way, our phones are open, 644-9840, if right. you're out there and you have a question about this. So, right. Kat, you look, you look absolutely flawless to me. What are we going to do today? Well, you know, that's interesting that you said that because, uh, you know, some people say, well, I don't have anybody with wrinkles to uh -huh. do Botox on. But the truth of the matter is that Botox it can be used for young individuals that have a uh, line on their face that are dynamic lines that they don't like when they're actively moving those muscles, especially in the summer. You're looking at that rear view mirror because you're squinting from the sun. You don't like the front lines. And I can't show you mine because my nurse had done an injection on me about three weeks ago. But, uh, which, so <laughs> I, I tried this what I preach. You know, <laughs> right. She did a good job. Yeah. Thank you. But uh, the point is that it, it's it's for young and old. Uh -huh. I mean, it's you know we can use it in a lot of people. So let's just look at Kat's face for a second. Okay. Um, if you can close up on her. Uh, go ahead and show us your frown line there, Kat. Okay, just uh, can you close close up on there, uh, please? Okay. Well, she she doesn't like the lines in her forehead. Go ahead and frown now. And she doesn't like this movement here, and it pulls the brows down. It makes her look a little bit tired and angry. And it's not that she's tired and angry. It's just that when she's concentrating, when she's listening to me talking uh -huh. or reading a book or concentrating on what she's doing, she's going to see those lines there, and she doesn't like that. And that's where Botox can come in and help with that. Right. Plus, in a few years, those lines that you're trying to make right now will be there just because exactly. that's the way your muscles move so if we can stop the muscle from creating that crease right now you're going to delay that line down the that's road. That's exactly the point, yeah. because what happens is uh, years and years of these muscles contracting mm -hmm. are going to leave those lines there. She doesn't really see it right now, uh, but you know you get those 11, some people call them, or the 111, where you get mm -hmm. three lines there, and then they they are there even when you're you're sleeping. But we want to try to reduce the dynamic motion when they're not there, so that they can maybe prevent it for the future. Okay. So what I'm going to do is really pretty simple, and, and Kat's nice enough to let us uh, demonstrate on her. She she's working in our office now. <laughs> Uh, so I just cleanse the area. Um, go ahead and frown again, and we're, we're frown down. Okay, we're gonna. This is how I do it. I mark the areas, mm -hmm. and you'll see the little dots there. And I'm gonna hit these four main spots on her, and that's where those muscles are contracting. Okay, so excuse my reach okay, here. Sure. So then what I'm gonna do is, uh, you know, hygienically we we put some gloves on. Uh, but these are the areas where the muscles are now. W when I learned to be a plastic surgeon, we learn. Um, the muscles of the face 
inside and out. You know, we learn from facial injuries, we learn from uh, cosmetic surgery, forehead lifts and things. I've seen these muscles up close and personal. Uh, so I know exactly the thickness of them, and I know what they look like. So yeah, I think don't trust anybody who's taking a weekend course on this. Okay, we're talking about your face here. Well, Very I, important. I, well, that's a good that point. But, you know, me. and you've heard me say this before. It's not just plastic surgery. You go to a cardiologist that's yes. board trained because yeah. you get your cardiology. Right. You go to an internal medicine doctor that's board trained in that. And if you're looking for a proper health care and medical care, that's what you should do. All right. So I've marked the four spots where her muscles are prominent. Excuse my reach here. Uh -huh. And now all I'm going to do is do the injections. So she's going to go ahead and frown activate those muscles and all I'm going to do is inject this Botox and you can see how it easy is. Oh, she's not, I One, don't two, think three. she's going to grimace. Easy. It's easy. <laughs> I, yeah, that's, that's really all it is when and you get into the that's all office. it is. And you know, it took a little longer because we're sitting here mm -hmm. doing the discussions. Now what I did was on her, I put in um, four units into each spot. Mm -hmm. Okay, now go ahead and contract that down. Now relax. Contract it again. Now relax. Okay. So that's pretty much the extent of what we have to do. And, and, and how will that work immediately, or will it, it, it doesn't? Okay. It doesn't. It's you know the fillers that we use mm -hmm. are very dramatic. Mm -hmm. You're going to see the filler result immediately as you fill up the volume. And we've talked about the fillers before, and we can discuss that if you have any questions about it. But uh, with the Botox, it takes about three to five days for it to start to work. Okay. So I'll tell the patient. Go ahead and frown one more time. Okay. And I'll tell the patients to. Um, come back to see me in a couple of weeks just to check it and make sure that the things are working the way they should. And that's how simple it is. That's great. That's Was that painful? Great. Not too painful. Painless. Yeah. Like plucking your eyebrows. And, and it's not like you can't <laughs> still make that exactly. eye movement. It's just that the muscles don't contract as much. Well, essentially what it does is it, it blocks the synaptic uh, electrical uh, message that's sent from the nerve to the muscle uh -huh. right at that synapse and it uh, prevents the muscle from contracting. Right. The muscle's still there, uh -huh. but it doesn't contract. And the nice thing about it, and if it's done properly, we're doing the injection so that you're going to get a little bit of reduction. You know, we still need some animation. Even the, right, the right. people in Hollywood, you know, they want to be able to animate. You know, raising their brows, frowning a little bit. You can see me move my face, but because I've had the Botox in the specific areas that I don't like that movement, uh, it looks natural. Yeah, it does. It definitely it looks It becomes great. voluntary motion instead of involuntary. Uh -huh. Absolutely. Point, exactly. Well, you know, if you're the kind of person that people always say, are you mad? You always look like you're frowning. You might be a great candidate for this because sometimes you don't realize that these are the, the this is the look that your face is giving off yeah. to other people. And you just don't realize it, that it's an involuntary thing. Well, yeah. And, uh, you know, and a lot of people that will actually, like you say, that becomes permanent later yeah. in life. Well, you know, when I'm, I'm mad, I got to yell louder because my facial expression yeah. will show. That so that's just a joke. Because, <laughs> no. You know, the truth, is, the truth is that it, it can be done naturally, just right. like any surgery. Sure. Plastic surgery, when done naturally, uh, people won't really know that you had anything done. They just say, well, gee, you look good. You look, uh -huh. you look healthy. You look fresh. Whether it be Did the you face. Lose weight? Yeah, whatever. Yeah, change uh -huh. your hair, you know, um, you, you know, whatever. It's just, it doesn't have to be dramatic. And right. dramatic is not really. That's not what you're going for. I don't think so. No. Not, not, not here in Western no. New York. Well, the important thing is, is to make sure you do seek out a board certified plastic surgeon for this. Don't go to somebody's party where they're injecting people's faces and things like that. You don't know what you're getting and you don't know whose hands it's in. You need to go to a doctor who has done this for years and Dr. Sam Shackin Jr. is one of those doctors, okay? Now there's two locations. You can go to his Kensington Avenue Amherst office and now we've got the Main Street and East Aurora office. That's going right. to be great for a lot of people out in the South Town. Yes, and we have the non-physician injectors as well, so it's rarely a wait uh, to get in to see us for Botox or fillers. Hey, you know, it's a new season, everybody, whether it's back to school or whatever, um, you know, put your best face forward. Kat, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you going out to the office now. Absolutely. Can't right. wait to see you. And for any additional questions for your consultation, you want to call the Aesthetic Associates Center and, and be in good hands. Let's put it that way. The two numbers, 839-1700. And now, again, you can get to the, amp, the East Aurora office by the same general number, 839-1700 as well. And talk to Dr. Shatkin and find out what he can do for you. All right. Everybody great? Hey, listen, before we go to break, we got to let you know, we've got a great...